Hey guys, Andy Camper here and wife the Camper back here. Get ready to replace the emergency breakaway cable from our camper trailer. There's the camper, the tongue here. And this is the emergency breakaway that if the trailer comes detached from your vehicle, it pulls the pin right there and uh, applies the brakes on the trailer. Anybody that has a trailer knows these really, really long breakaway cables where you have to wrap them around the chain a few times and, and after a while they can get just like this right here. You guys can see there the wire is already broke. It's just hanging on by the plastic sheathing that's around the uh, cable itself. There's a couple places. There's one right there that's wore out. There's a place right here. And this one's almost as bad. <laughs> And the cable is completely broken. It's just hanging on by the plastic piece. So if that was to break away from the trailer, not going to help at all. <laughs> what we're going to do to remedy this problem right here, guys, is we're going to cut this cable off right here. We're not going to replace it with another straight cable like this. We actually purchased one of these right here. We purchased one of these off of uh, Amazon. It's made for trailer breakaway systems and stuff like that. It's a zip breakaway cable. It's a six foot cable. And what it does is we're going to cut this off right here and attach it to the pin itself. A little hole in the pin. And instead of wrapping around the chain a few times like we normally do, it'll go directly to the attachment on the back of the truck. So we're going to replace this real fast. Like the camper's going to cut it. See if she can cut it there. Oh yeah, because I've got to be careful. I don't want to pull it out, do I? Mm -mm. Right there. <laughs> you need some wire cutters. All right, we just cut the wire off of there, guys. And we're going to attach the little key ring thing, the key ring end of this. And this is a six foot. There's a couple of different ones. There's a six foot and a, was it a four? I think so. Or maybe a three. Mm. I think it was four. I'll leave the link down below in the uh, description so you can see which one we ordered here so you can read into it a little bit more if you need to. There's the, uh, the pin, that little tip right there. I'm gonna attach that to it. And then this end will hook to the back of the truck. Be right back. Let's get this little keychain looking thing on there. Got it all attached right there, guys. And you can see it'll just curl right back up. And once you hook your trailer up, hook your chains up to the back of your truck, you'll hook this to the same spot where the chains go. You don't want to hook it on the chain itself. You want to hook it on the spot where the chains go. And I'll show you that real fast. All right, and here's the hitch. That's where the trailer will be attached. And right here on both sides of the hitch, we have little spots where the chains go. And now you don't have to wrap around your uh, emergency breakaway cable. It'll just attach right here where your chain goes and that way if your chains come undone or your trailer comes undone from your truck that'll pull that pin out and apply brakes to your trailer well there you go guys it's there it is attached great option instead of those those ones that come with it or replace it with the same thing just put one of these on there and you don't have to wrap it around like i said i'll put the link in the description below so you can check these out too in case you want to change yours out to something a little bit more convenient that won't rub on the road and get wrapped up in your chains and get all jacked up. And Wifey Camper says she recommends the six foot cable. The six foot cable for sure. Because you know it's going to go to at least right here on your truck. Give or take. And you wouldn't, and you can feel the resistance a little bit. So I would recommend the six foot. And after this video, make sure you look for the part two. I'll do a quick part two showing it hooked to the truck itself to show you what it all looks like hooked up and everything. Look out for part two. Well, I hope you was able to get a little bit from the video. I appreciate you coming by. And uh, that's a quick little video on how to replace the breakaway cable for your trailer. You can do that on campers or, or uh, any kind of trailer that has emergency brake on there. So with that being said, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, Plan. Prepare. Practice. We're out.